this is Jason Tanigan of Sales on Fire, and I wanted to talk to you about Product Marketer by Brad Goss. I'll put that down now, we'll have a nice little inside of it over here. There it is. All right. So, I'm reading, or I have read actually, I just finished it yesterday, Brad Goss's Chronic Marketer, and it was a book that was handed to me by Caliban Darklock, who said, You need to read this. And we took a funny picture with me. Um, the sign has no relation to the book. Apparently, Caliban was going for two different directions there. I'm holding the poop sign and the book. Apparently, this is symbolic of something, but the poop sign does not have any relation to the book. The book is good. And that's why uh, I'm doing a quick video about it for uh, for anybody who hasn't come across this book. Now, Brad published it in 2012. Uh, however, the material inside is not dated because he talks about principles and not uh, specific, you know, like black hat technical things or something like that. And so you can read this today and get as much of, uh, of it or out of it as I got. Um, we agree, Brad and I, although we've never really met or talked or anything like that, we agree on a number of things. First of all, you have to get it out there and mix it up in your marketplace. You can't sit on the sidelines and try and read and learn and uh, pick up tips from other people. You've got to go out there and kind of get what I call punched in the face a little bit and uh, mix it up. And that's how you learn what works and what doesn't work. You can read all you like, but... Uh, You've really got to get out there. Second thing we agree on is don't waste your time with chambers of commerce and things like that, networking groups. Just stay away from those things. They're full of other newbies who don't know how to make any money. The real people who have businesses, genuine businesses, and have money are where? In their offices, working, being bothered by their employees. They are not out at networking events. I tell you that. They might go to a big trade show, but that's a different animal altogether. So stay away from those things. The third thing we agree on is the principle of freelancer and then, uh, you know, sort of a product developer and then a producer role or director role. So uh, I think he divides us into freelancer, producer, director. The freelancer mode is the one that we're commonly in where you're an expert service provider and you come along and you provide that. The producer role is when you're getting content ready and, uh, producing a product that's scalable. You are not scalable, but your product is. So for my situation, I can sell an infinite number of copies of Sales on Fire or Sales Judo or something like that, but I can only be dealing with one client at a time. And in fact, I limit myself to four a month because I've learned that if I try and split myself in 20 different directions, again, I'm not scalable. So the results aren't that great. But when I'm down to four or less, now we've got something. You know, I can stay on top of it and really, really uh, get transformative results for those clients. And then there's the director role where you might be actually directing other producers to create content and programs and email campaigns and, and uh, products and that. So I think he said, and this is obviously a few years ago now because that's the date of the publication of the book, but he had over 300 products out there for sale. Now, can you imagine having that many products? I, I only have like five or something like that. And it's really got me thinking, okay, um, <laughs> maybe I just need more offers out there, right? And that, that would help a lot. Uh, and so that takes a lot of consistent effort. So we're we're in agreement on a lot of things in this book, how to, how to function like a, uh, you know, high functioning, uh, marketer. You want to stay away from analysis paralysis. Don't sit there and, you know, try and learn all the secrets before you get out there and start working. That You learn the secrets by actually working. And a fourth thing, final thing that we agree on uh, that I'll mention today is train your customers. Train people on how to deal with you. If somebody is a jerk to you, stop dealing with them. Stop talking to them. That's it. You're, you're cut off. Um, Brad seems to fire customers left and right, which is something that brings a, a tear to my eye and a smile to my face, you know. Uh, people who treat you badly and don't respect you and don't regard you as uh, an expert who's helping their business, they need to go on their way, you know. We don't, we don't need that kind of person around. And we can train people before they ever get into contact with us this is how the, the conversation is going to happen. And I teach this uh, in, in my sales training program is what's called an upfront contract or agenda and expectations. So we're in agreement on a lot of things. So I highly recommend you check out this book and uh, you will get a lot out of it, particularly if you're new to the online marketing field. You will get a, a lot out of it. There's stuff in there I would have liked to have read several years ago. 
and even if you're an experienced person, it's a good refresher and it's headspace stuff. It's a lot of, hey, what are you doing in your business? You know, are you running around in the, the squirrel cage trying to get somewhere and never really getting anywhere? Or are you building a scalable business that can allow you to be what Brad would call lazy, <laughs> sit around and, and smoke up uh, and relax? Or, you know, are you really tiring yourself out on that treadmill? If you're interested in not tiring yourself out on the treadmill, then I highly recommend this book. Thanks for watching.